and welcome to the session. I am Kanika and I am going to help you to solve the following question. The question says which one of the following options is true and why? y is equal to 3x plus 5 has first part is a unique solution, second part is only two solutions and third part is infinitely many solutions. Let's now proceed on with our solution. In this question we have to find whether y equals to 3x plus 5 has a unique solution or only two solutions or infinitely many solutions. Now, when x is equal to 1, then the given equation y is equal to 3x plus 5 reduces to 5 equals to 3 into 1 plus 5 and this implies that y is equal to 8. Therefore, x equals to 1 and y equals to 8 is a solution Now we will find one more solution of this equation. When x is equal to 0, then the given equation reduces to y equals to 3 into 0 plus 5. And this implies y is equal to 5. Therefore, x equals to 0 and y equals to 5 is a solution of the given equation. Similarly, if I take x as minus 1, then the given equation produces to y equals to 3 into minus 1 plus 5 and this implies y is equal to 2. Therefore, x equals to minus 1 and y equals to 2 is a solution of the given equation y is equal to 3x plus 5. And if I substitute x as 2 then the given equation reduces to y equals to 3 into 2 plus 5 and this implies y is equal to 11. Therefore, x equals to 2 and y equals to 11 is a solution of the given equation y is equal to 3x plus 5. You can observe that for every value of x, there is a corresponding value of y and vice versa. So this implies that the equation y equals to 3x plus 5 has infinitely many solutions. Therefore, option 3 is true because For every value of x, there is a corresponding value of y. And vice versa. This is our required answer. Bye and take care. Hope you have enjoyed the session.